Zelf. On the shelf. This week on Hard to Watch. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to episode two of our reaction to week one of the Provo Bachelor. Today we're going to be finishing week one because the last episode was extremely long. Um, and yeah, we I think Colin's going to be following the traditional Bachelor format, I assume, and going in and meeting all the girls at once on the first night. And in the normal Bachelor, girls get kicked off. I'm not sure if they'll be mean enough to do that on the show, but we'll find out. Do you think he's going to get lucky? This whole thing is deeply unlucky for him. He has no <laughs> idea. <laughs> I love how it's not like the normal bachelor mansion that they have. It's like every family home evening <laughs> venue you've ever been to, like your bishop's basement or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks guys for coming. Um... I didn't really prepare a speech, it's not really a speech, <laughs> but thank you guys for coming, sorry for all the delays. Well, I guess, let's just get started then. Cheers! Yeah. It's Which still, one of these lucky ladies? <laughs> it's still bothering me, like, I know that this is like a YouTube thing, but it's still a piece of entertainment, and he doesn't have any charisma. Like, why didn't they pick someone who's has more on-screen charisma? <laughs> Maybe they just didn't have anyone with more on-screen charisma. <laughs> Surely there's... It is the most white bread, stone cold, sober city in America. And maybe everyone in the drama department is gay. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's so disappointing though. <laughs> this is so disappointing. <laughs> Glass of Martinelli's to take the edge off. Take really <laughs> yeah. Did she just pull him away? So you don't watch The Bachelor, but in The Normal Bachelor, on the first night and stuff, girls will like come up and pull him aside and it can get a little bit bitchy because they'll be like, you interrupted me during my time with him and you know, they're all kind of vying for his attention. Sounds like a really stressful show. <laughs> yeah, of course it is. It's going to be really hard to learn the names on this show because they are, for the most part, quite homogenous. Well, I have a, yeah. a couple random questions for you. Alright. Alright, the first one is, if it's a Friday night and you're with your friends and you don't have any plans, what do you try to make happen? Oh, that's a good question. Um, Wet dream. <laughs> I'd say we probably get in the car and we try and find plans like as we go. Uh -huh. We call people up or maybe, I don't know, just hit up like, <laughs> Hey guys, we're in the car! I'm gonna find some plans! Who are you calling up? <laughs> what are the people you're calling up doing that you think you want to do? I don't know, like a dance or like if there's any activities yes. going on. Dances yeah, are the best. Activities. <laughs> what adult is like? I, I just see what activities activities are going on. Some um, what's that water balloon game where you toss the water balloon from like one towel to the other? That's what I think of when I think of like morning <laughs> family home evening activities. Uh, she's like asking that question. <laughs> she's got absolutely nothing out of his answer, but she's like, mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm really getting to know Colin. We're really clicking. We're gonna have the best car rides together, calling <laughs> up his friends. Who was the one that said they wanted someone to laugh in the car with? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's gonna like Colin. That was um, Megan. <laughs> I just want to see one legitimate joke happen in this show. I don't even care if it like throughout the whole series. I mean, if I watch, if I witness one good joke get told and people genuinely laugh, I'll be shocked. Yeah. Because so far it's so stilted. That should be the drinking game. If we genuinely laugh, we take a shot. We'll we're gonna take be a shot. We're going to be as sober as them by the end of it. Okay, that's the drinking game we can actually commit to. <laughs> if okay. there's a genuine joke that happens. Yeah. I love dancing. Yeah. I don't know it's always a good time. I'm bad at dancing, but it's fun. So. It's okay, everybody can dance. As long as you're into it, everybody has a good time. Yeah. We agree. <laughs> Overall, I think it turned out well because I got to... <laughs> the chair is such a bishop's chair, isn't it? Overall, she thinks it turned out well. Because she got what? I learned a little bit more about him. I didn't talk about What did you much, learn? But, um, he seems like a pretty awesome guy, so I hope that I get the opportunity to... Based on what? And hopefully... Based on what? Truly based on what? She's just parroting, like, the stereotypical bachelor lines. Yeah. What, what about him seems awesome? There was a, like, they cut out the longer part of the conversation where they talk oh, about their childhood really trauma <laughs> to see if they had compatible attachment styles. Got it, got it. Yeah. I'll be less awkward in front of cameras for him. Why are you worried about being awkward in front of him? You're like, she's 10 times less awkward than he is. Mm-hmm. Hi, Megan. Okay. 
Tell me about yourself. Okay, um, I'm at BYU. I'm not, I'm not studying like uh, to be a surgeon or anything. What are you studying? Uh, actually, I actually don't know yet, so okay, maybe, nice. but I, I doubt it. <laughs> I couldn't even pick a bachelor who had a shred of a career plan or even a major declared. Like, no, he's so vanilla. He's, oh, he's not even vanilla. He's worse than vanilla. What do you think this um, production team is about? Is it like uh, one or two videographers? I mean, we've kind of talking about it. It's like, I mean, they're probably just people like us. Who no, just, yeah, like, for sure. It's probably like... Don't have any friends that will do a better job. <laughs> I, but I don't think the production is the main issue here. Well, I just mean, you know, the whoever's doing it. Oh, the, whoever's picking the bachelor. Yeah, it's probably like his roommate. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I guess I figured it would... It was like a maybe a B way like when we were in the media class we were in together and we oh. had to spend ten hours a week working on a digital media project. I kind of imagined it was something like that at BYU. Mm, maybe, but also could be someone's just ward. Could be, yeah, yeah. If anyone has any background, yeah, we would love some info. <laughs> someone, what did they say about the one girl who is already engaged? Oh, we heard that one of the girls got engaged by the time they were filming episode five. <laughs> like, Ooh. met and got engaged to someone in that time period. So, oh. That's oh. I hope they include that in the show. Lord, help, help us. Yeah, I'm from California. I like being outside. What about you? Ah, oh, he's so boring. The other th uh, He's from Tell California. Tell me about yourself. So I'm from cool California. Things. I go to BYU. I don't have a major. I like being outside. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he even there? Oy. Just have printout cards. They don't even know who they are. They're still Mormon. She's studying to be a surgical engineer though. Like she has something going on. She does. Is she the one um, who was kind of flirty? I think so, yeah. Or is that a different one? Well, a few of them, but yeah, I think she was flirty. She seems kind of flirty now. She's given really good. She's doing really good mirroring. That's a smile. Yeah, and looks she's bad. doing a good job. He's not giving her much to it, Yeah, I was gonna say she has her arms slightly crossed right now in this shot, and I don't blame her if she feels like I, I feel like the Colin must make the girls feel awkward. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm just... Yeah, it's hard to like describe. This so film. do you know Natalie Portner? <laughs> <laughs> you're on a show. You, you're Wait, on that's a. That's the very goal. <laughs> <laughs> With the intent. To meet someone that you're gonna spend the rest of and your life with. And you don't even know how with. to describe yourself to a potential lover. If you can't give someone an elevator pitch about your I life, know. you are in no place. You're in no <laughs> position to get married. To it's hard to describe. It's like yeah, it's hard to describe because there's nothing original about you. You're just a cookie cutter thing that the church has spat out, and you have nothing original about you. I mean, we all do at the end of the day, sure. but like, where is it, Colin? Colin, it's not your fault, but damn. But fuck you, Colin. <laughs> She's like my best friend. Oh really? Friend no way. Like sophomore year, so. I yeah. Don't know. Okay, yeah. So I like grew up with her kind of, and she moved. So mm -hmm. it's been a while. Since this is peak Mormon dating conversation: is being able to talk about someone you knew in your ward growing up. <laughs> and is it one of the other bachelorettes? Oh, I don't know. Was is it? that what they're talking about? No, I don't. I don't think so. I think she just knows someone oh, that he okay. knows. Let's rewind to make sure. Okay, so yeah, it's literally just someone that he not. They both know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great combo. Great. It's got to start somewhere. Actually, maybe it is. Maybe she is on the show. Literally, I had 10 seconds. Like, I think they were just. It just didn't work out very well, but like, freak. She came hair. in and I was not even done. Like, we literally just like reintroduced ourselves and stuff. So, I don't know how well it went. We'll have to see what he said, but it was just kind of awkward a little bit. Like, he was just like, the nerves were there, but I don't know. I feel pretty confident. I like her. She is so confident. Like She's good it's on TV. weird that this dynamic is set up that they're all like vying for his attention yeah. when she like yeah. deserves it yeah. so much more. Why didn't they do the Bachelorette? Yeah. I'm Abby. Okay. Where are you in life? Like you at BYU? I am at BYU. I just got back from a mission a few months ago. Where'd you serve? Argentina. Oh wait, cool. Which mission? Um, no one really knows it. It's like in the very south. Okay. Like, near the Patagonia. Oh but, cool. Yeah. But yeah, now I'm a freshman at BYU. Once. She's gonna. Mind if I cut in? I do mind, but you have to because that's the rule. Dang it! Cut off such a good conversation. I know. I was really looking forward to hearing more about his mission. I know. Me too. I'm sure he was gonna be. I'm sure, happy he had too. a good ghost story. He was ready to tell. It is kind of sad. Like, I mean, I remember when I got back from my mission. It was at BYU, Idaho, and everyone 
would be like, oh, I hate when RMs bring up their mission. Yeah. And it's, it's like, like what? I haven't done anything else for the last two years. <laughs> High school? Like, I was shipped off. Yeah. And, like, just had a totally different life. Like, I have literally nothing else to talk about. Yeah, it's not your fault. Um, but yeah, that sucks. It was the most weird thing in the world. I just don't really get along with girls. And All right. Can we talk about this? That is deeply problematic. And I feel like it's a, it's like a it's a product of sexism, isn't oh, it? Oh, absolutely. It's women saying, I just don't really get along with girls. Mm. I, I've been pitted against them, so I don't. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's just like twenty years of cultural conditioning. <laughs> I just like don't like them. You don't get along with girls. They are fifty-one percent of the population. If you don't get along with girls, you don't get along with people. Mm. And so I was already like uncomfortable in the car. I'm so embarrassed for her that she said that on a TV show. <laughs> oh. And I'm just sitting there like, this is awful. <laughs> okay, that was another factor. I was like, he's pretty cute. And the dating scene in Provo is awful. My name's McKenna. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah a lot of people call me Ken. I love McKenna. <laughs> so glad she's on screen. <laughs> Save us from this. I want to get to know you better. So I thought maybe an important question would be like, what's something that you're, a goal you're working for? Oh, that's a good question. Um, just trying to figure out like what I want to study. <laughs> but besides that, it's kind of lame. Um, I just started like DJing, like mixing like music. Really? That's so I'd like, I'd like to get better at that. I just started, so I'm pretty bad. We have a hobby. Yeah. Good for Colin. Yeah. And a cool hobby. Said it before and I'll say it again. McKenna is just way cooler than him. But so far, all the, all the women have been so much more like... Competent seeming? So yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, that's not yeah, the right yeah, word. No. Definitely more right. um, socially confident. confident. I mean, I guess the, the mission does word. kind of tend to make men like this a lot, doesn't it? Also, he spent the last two years like actively trying to avoid any romantic connection yeah. with women. So. And now there's all these hot Mormon girls in front of him. Mm hmm. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> I grew up really liking like electronic music, and then I have friends that do it. We started like a club at high school, and I just never like started like learning. Okay. That's super cool. It'll be so fun to like be at a rave someday and see Colin <laughs> just like dance or DJing his little heart out. Oh, I hope so. Taking some ecstasy. I, when you're when you're Mormon, where can being a DJ really go? At the house parties in Provo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, a scene. I did have a couple of friends at BYU Idaho that were like EDM DJs. Wow. On they were like kind of a cooler group of Mormons. No, I'd, I'd, like very into I'd the hang dance out with scene. Like, yeah. EDM I think Mormons. you would have liked them, and they were like uh, like graphic designers, and like they did have quite mm. cool interests, and they're very outdoorsy. But yeah, yeah. Um, I'm a dancer, and so I oh, really like are. music and like you know, dancing and stuff at dance parties. So that's really yeah. cool. What music do you like? I really like electronic music. Pretty much anything. I'm a fan of anything that has like a beat. And yeah, I get dance that. Too. I get that. Yeah, if I got more time to talk to him, I definitely think that there would be a strong connection. We could find things we have in common. Do you? And yeah, I'm I'm happy with the way that things went. Faith in <clears throat> things that are not seen. <laughs> I just believe that he'll be a really engaging, interested person. <laughs> I just think once we connect, we'll really connect. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you notice her like picking up his slack, like, because she asked him a question yeah. and he answered and didn't respond with the question? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Like, well, like I'm a dance. dancer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm still like feeling really gross inside because that girl said she doesn't get along with girls. Mm. <laughs> it made it really bummed me out. <laughs> this episode is a bummer so far, to be honest. <laughs> I have been super excited for this for like weeks now and like, but unfortunately I did get trampled in a mosh pit last night and I am so bruised. That dance party, oh, <laughs> this that... dance party is infamous. Oh yeah. Mosh pit, we're learning more and more. Man, these EDM parties in Provo. <laughs> what if like the scandal of the season is that like someone heavy petted at the dance party? Oh, <laughs> Um, well, someone did jump off the basketball hoop, is that what she said? Yeah, off the freaking basketball hoop. Dare nuts. I imagine that this is happening in an LDS cultural hall? <laughs> I'd say that's probably a safe assumption, yes. Oh, but no way it'd get rowdy enough for a mosh pit. Unless 
it wasn't actually a mosh pit and it was just like yeah what is a mormon mosh pit mm -hmm. it's just like a bunch of people like kind of muscling on each other slightly yeah <laughs> it's not like the actual floor pit of a gate creeper concert <laughs> <laughs> It's my cousin's band, look it up. I'm in the van and I'm like, okay, I can so do this. I'm not that nervous of a person. Like, it's just saying hi. I've watched The Bachelor since I was a toddler. You can't limp. You can't have a good pee. So I walk up there and I just get so excited because, oh, he has the sweetest smile. I don't know Come if you guys have noticed that, but it's just so tender. And so I like go to hug him and I definitely step with my left foot, which is my bad one, and it just gives. And I just body chuck him literally nice. like my chin like hit his like sternum area and I hopefully I'll get to talk to him about it today and tell him I didn't mean to just body chuck you into the shadow realm definitely did that on accident so hopefully I'll be able to clear that up that's an important that's, thing to clear uh, up definitely because yeah. he's walking around being like she just body chucked me on purpose aggressive woman <laughs> I'm Annalie Annalie okay yeah. yeah how is this whole process for you um it's a little weird Fun though. I mean, it's a lot. My roommate, I kind of like planned it all, but like, I'm the roommate planned it. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Also, she's got a good amount of on screen charisma as well. Yeah. Well, we're all grateful for your roommate because yeah. you seem like such a sweet guy. Oh, she's going for it. Uh -huh. And like, you're super sweet and you can mosh pit, so what's. Oh, yeah, you saw that? that? Oh, of course. That's... Okay, he was yeah. mosh pitting last night. I've never even the heard that as a verb. I've never even heard that as a verb. You're <laughs> mosh pitting? <laughs> Oh, was he crazy? Did he have his like shirt around his head or something? Something wild? I guess not because he'd have garments under. He looks like a missionary to me in this still frame. Mm -hmm. Oof. That's Worst actually thing. where I got this. I got no trampled way. last night. Yeah, and so I it's like not the same size That's as my other terrible. ankle at all. But it's okay because... <laughs> all right. <laughs> she did get trampled. She did. She really loves to dance. Banksy, wow. get out of the scene! <laughs> Nice. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm sorry I'm body checked yeah, no, you. No, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, can I still have Of course, go ahead. Thanks. <laughs> I stepped out of the car and I like, full on shoulders. She's not even trying to act like the shrug is there to cover them. Read the room. <laughs> <laughs> have you met Colin? <laughs> First laid eyes on him and he was gorgeous. Like. His eyes are amazing. Okay. They're definitely telling them to talk up Colin, aren't they? <laughs> oh, who knows? I have one question. Hi. What makes you the happiest? Oh, wow. Um, being with my family. Okay. That's always a good time. Um, <laughs> music. You know, if you're in a bad mood, you can just listen to music. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What kind of music? Um, I like most music. Except for country. Okay, same. Oh, yeah, right. okay. Point to Colin. Point to Colin. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> He's not hopeless after all. <laughs> a shred of hope. I say that as someone who's going to see Garth Brooks this yes. month. Are you really? Yeah. yeah. Good. Same good, okay. I didn't want to like, offend you. <laughs> oh, no, but... yeah. It's definitely me too. But yeah, and um, I'd say I like um, alternative rock. Hey, okay. You know, electronic music, rap. Do you think he listens to the edited versions of raps? Yeah, definitely. I was just having a great conversation with Colin, and then Elena comes in and swoops in, and the next thing I know, she has the impression rose. She, she gets the impression is, rose? She is trying to get dramatic. Yeah, she is. This girl she, knows what's up. Do you know what the impression rose is? No. Um, I, it's, I think it's the first night of The Bachelor. It's the one he gives to the girl who like made the best impression on him the first night. Aww. I mean, what would it say about Colin if he gave the impression rose to a girl with her shoulders out? She's playing the long haul game though. She's gonna show yeah. this to someone and be like, look, I was the most dramatic one out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's gone for reality TV. She doesn't give a shit about this small potato. <laughs> And I think she can make bachelor. it. She's cute enough for reality yeah, TV. Yeah. She only got it because she has an accent. Like, this is so stupid. Oh, shots fired. Is he gonna give the fucking impression rose to the British girl? I'm gonna be fuming. Even her being on this show is irritating <laughs> me. I can't bear it. Uncanny Valley. <laughs> She's like doing what I did when I was Mormon, which is just milking the accent and everything you've got. You don't want the green card. Trust me, it's not worth it. I'm getting used to the use of heat. Do you know what you're majoring in? Uh, not yet. I'm just kinda... Yeah. What are you? Going with the flow. Um, yeah. I'm thinking advertising. Advertising? Yeah, it's great. That's I'm awesome, yeah, that's great. Yeah, cool. BYU is amazing. It's mm -hmm. like, 
yeah. I just, I cannot imagine myself anywhere else now. Provo is a place for me. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's good. I'm loving it. But I like to travel. So. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, I think Colin is really lovely. He has kind eyes and he is he has a great smile and I love his curly hair. That's very attractive to me. <laughs> Hopefully there'll be something more, we'll see. Um, yeah, hopefully we accept this. I will accept this, yeah. thank you. I haven't even seen The Bachelor. Yeah. But... I haven't either, so <laughs> I guess Apparently I was supposed to say that. To <laughs> so I just got the first impression rose and I am um, pretty shocked, honestly, because I only got about 30 seconds to speak with Colin. I wonder what it could have been <laughs> that set you apart. <laughs> Was it all your interests? Was it your dazzling personality and love of the Lord's University or something else? <laughs> so how's it going? I mean, pretty crazy, yeah. right? Oh, he's given out the impression rose before he's even chatted with all the girls. So he really likes that British one. He's not even waiting. Oof. Yeah, a long time, but... Yeah, yeah. what, it's like eight years? What, when did you move? Like... Uh, I moved when I was about 13. I hate that you can see the blue gum in her mouth. Mm. Really? Okay, yeah. 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 Did you stay in Glendora the whole time? I just stayed in Glendora. I know I missed yeah. when I came back. Where did you serve? Argentina. Wow. How'd you like that? It was fine. It was really good. Yeah. Was what was he allowed to say to the question, how'd you like that? <laughs> I really fucking didn't. I would always say to the like, how's your mission? I'd be like, it's awful. I hated it. Really? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it was a joke. But it's it, a good joke. Yeah. You're at BYU, right? Yeah. Do you know what you're going to study yet? No, he doesn't. Yeah, Stop yeah, asking I'm him. And you're at UVU. Yeah. I took that's the easy route. No, that's, that's so cool. <laughs> I wish I had done that. Yeah, it's super fun. Girl, I'll be proud. Why did you say I wish I'd done that? Like, presumably he's only been taking classes for a few weeks, doesn't even have a declared major. It's BYU just too hard for him. <laughs> I'm one of the girls that knew him when I was a child. So I kind of already had a first impression like eight years ago, but it was definitely awesome to see him now. Grown a few inches, super fun. But he just seems like a really nice guy, and I really hope that I can stay get a roast tonight, so I can continue to get him, get to know him more. Tell me about yourself, Con. Um, well, I'm a freshman at BYU. Okay, what are you studying? Why are we being forced to watch the same conversation with every single girl? Why can there not they can? Huh, there's not enough uniqueness in each conversation <laughs> for them to show us something different in each thing. We're just like hearing the same like I don't know what I'm studying, I don't know what I'm studying over <laughs> and over again. This is like the Black Mirror episode of that Netflix dating <laughs> show. <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? Wow, yeah. This is just. I mean, it's true to life, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if there is a connection yet. It's been a whole thirty seconds. Thank you. Uh, you know. <laughs> Finally, someone. <laughs> I like her, she's a bit more real. She does go to UVU. <laughs> I'm sorry, you must be so sick of answering all of the same questions over and over again. Yeah, I feel like again. it's a job interview, <laughs> but, That's so but it, it, in a good way, I, but it's fine. Stressful? Yeah. I actually think these two... Yeah, 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 they it. have the same Mormon energy, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Same like Peter Priest and Molly Mormon energy. But, well, I'm yeah. gonna ask you a question, I uh, hope no one else has asked you. Sorry, What's your dick you? size? Oh, <laughs> I saw a stunning picture in Peru in Machu Picchu. Just tell me real quick. I know people are coming. Okay, yeah. So I got home from my mission and my mom, she's like, we're going to Peru. I was like, That's wait, so what? Awesome. But it was way cool. We were there for like three weeks. That's and awesome. This is super cool. Uh, did yeah. you hike all the way up there? Yeah, we hiked That's all the way up there so hard, but. Oh my good. gosh. Well, so yeah, to say no, hi. Really good. Oh, she, is she back for the second thing? I think that's a different girl. No, it's not. No, that's the girl who I said had good hair. Oh, okay. That is the same girl. Mm. She's she's a player. I well, or the she's show told her to do it. She's a contender. Know. I really think the show might. I don't. I mean, you can't trust the normal Bachelor, but this just feels even more transparent. Well, the thing is, is like the show. It literally could just be a camera person. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You didn't have much time to talk. Yeah, no, I hate how everyone just like goes back. So, so did you grow up in California? I did. I like California the ocean a lot, boy. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, ocean. so this is the conversation that she has to keep going. California boy. Ah! <laughs> so cow. It's funny because it's this is making me realize how much Mormon flirting is it it's all just completely shallow, isn't it? It's like the cute like faces the girl can make, how she looks, it's not about substantial anything. It almost doesn't matter what they're saying. Granted, we are only 10 seconds in. I feel like 10 seconds into any dating yeah, conversation. Yeah, I know. Kind of, though I feel like you... What, it, uh, wouldn't you... Pre like, I would prepare a way more interesting question. 
if I, if I was going to be on The Bachelor, I'd be like, what's your attachment style? Or like some, not, I know what always goes, like about that, for example, we're just really into attachment styles. <laughs> that would freak somebody out well, real quick. They're really relevant when talking about relationships, I think. But anyway. I'd be like, what's your astrological sign? <laughs> or like, tell me an interesting story from your, like, I don't what's know, a weird fear anything. that you have? Yeah, anything other than where are you from? Like, of course he's from California. Of course he went on a mission to Argentina. These things are obvious. <laughs> I like, I'd want to be like on a movie set. Okay, how many of these girls have gum in their mouth? I do think that is a Mormon girl thing. It's just constantly, like, heaven forbid your breath is anything less than minty fresh at all times for a man. And maybe just a college girl thing. Yeah, that's true. What are you studying? I'm doing surgical technology. Oh, wait, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, remember the heart. Yeah, yeah, tell me about the heart. <laughs> no, no worries. No, that's really cool though, so. Yeah, I love it. It's so fun. My dad's a surgeon, so I just kind of right. have picked that up. Uh -huh. yeah. He's just I'll like I, trying you. to look on to the next, just be done as quickly as possible. He's like, I don't really value a woman who has ambitious career goals. How are you going to be a surgeon and be a mother? <laughs> they all look pissed in they this They do, they look show. furious. Abby. Does Thanks. that mean bye? No, this means they're in. If they uh, get a rose, they're in still. Annalie Crandall. I love how they didn't even get real roses for the show. They didn't? The fake Those roses. are fake roses? Yeah. yeah. <gasps> and the real show, they're obviously... This is a big old painting of Jesus. What, is this a church chapel? Look at this. I, it's I really look, think look, it's, it's like, like a, a church bishops. foyer. Yeah. That's the decor style they like Emily the most. And a framed puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you need to know. <laughs> are there two Annalise? Presumably. <laughs> Thank you. We did not see him interact with many of these women. No. Presumably because it was just even worse than the ones that they showed <laughs> us, which is unthinkable. <laughs> Double time, it's so slow. <laughs> We're probably good. <laughs> Remington! <laughs> okay, I feel like Remington's gonna really lift the energy here. To <laughs> so the rest of the girls, pack your things and go. <laughs> Remington's just been hiding out under the stairs, <laughs> eating cheese whiz. <laughs> I really want Remington to have a bigger role in this show, honestly. I, I want him to like get caught up in the drama, maybe yeah. start trying to date one of the girls. <laughs> or Colin. Yeah. Ladies, this is the final rose. Colin, whenever you're ready. Also, Chris Harrison's usually there for the whole rose ceremony in the normal show. Why is Remington only allowed to be there? <laughs> he was hanging out in the puzzle couldn't... room. <laughs> They couldn't have fooled Remington for more than half an hour. <laughs> Remington's rates are through the roof. <laughs> we love you, Remington. The MC of our heart. <laughs> Sarah. Oh shit! Uh, that blazer really makes her look like a mission president's wife, doesn't it? That's exactly what he wants, because he wants to be a mission president <laughs> yeah. someday. Ladies, I'm sorry if you didn't get a rose. Take time to say your goodbyes. <laughs> I am single. <laughs> Any last words? <laughs> Take time to say your goodbyes <laughs> to this man who you've struck up such a deep connection with. It's like, do you even, is it even rude to not say goodbye? Like when you've only found out that they're from California and don't know what their major is. Peace soon. I hope they bought him Taco Bell or something after this. <laughs> he got rid of every ethnic girl. He didn't even have a conversation with that black girl or that other Asian girl. I don't want to make it about race, but like it feels like it is. <laughs> it feels like you can only stomach the most homogenous Provo women. Which of course, what Which, do you think? Yeah. Like, God damn it, Colin. I did not get a rose. Um, I noticed that every single girl that didn't get a rose is like four inches taller than Colin. So uh, uh, yeah. 
Okay, so we just got rid of all the tall girls. Mm. They should have taken that into account. I mean, they... No, they should have. Well, I think they should. They should have asked him before he was on the show, like, mm. would you date a girl taller than you? And if he says no, don't put them through it. Don't waste their time. Mm. They've got bad things to do. She's but got again, her wicker thing to get back to. <laughs> <laughs> they probably were just trying to find anyone who was willing to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, though, I looked up the girls, and a lot of them are, like, quite big on Instagram. I think mm. they looked up, like, Provo girls that are kind of semi-big on Instagram, mm. like 3,000, 4,000 followers. Is that um, semi-big? Yeah, for Provo, big, yeah, because yeah, they're only big, they're not big for doing anything, they're just, right. like, it's just Provo people, so, mm -hmm. yeah, anyway. I think he's got a height complex. Um, also, oh, one of the Annalise, okay, so McKenna comes out, and she's like, I know you kissed my brother, and the other Annalise like, it was only once, I swear, so Colin, um, I don't know what you're dealing with here, but McKenna and Annalise are both with you, so, that's, sorry, my dude, but, um. Wait, what? Eskimo sisters. <laughs> who's an Eskimo? Who kissed whose brother? Actually, I couldn't even figure out what that was, but no, I can't be bothered to rewind and figure it out. Yeah, Explain seems... like we're five in the comments if you were. <laughs> not mad. You seem it's mad. Kind of, but not mad. Honestly, not getting a rose is like not that big of a deal. Um, there was a little drama. I got shade thrown at me, but we're not even going to talk about it. Why? I... Talk about it! Nothing interesting has happened in this episode. <laughs> shade from who? Why? <laughs> Just really wish Colin the best of luck with like all the the shade that's gonna be thrown and the drama and the DQs on board. I mean, the DQ. Know. What does DQ what mean? Dairy Queens. Oh, the DQ. Should we look it up? Slang DQ. <laughs> Provo Urban Dictionary DQ. <laughs> that's the thing. It's not gonna come up because it's probably so. DQ means disqualified. Uh, okay. It's DQ. So some kind of sports term. <laughs> Maybe he like, she's saying like he disqualified a lot of women for being tall or kissing someone's brother or like having kissed anyone ever. <laughs> no, when I got home from my mission, I thought I was going to wait to kiss my wife. Oh god. Mm. I lie, it's going to be a ride and I'm kind of glad I got off that train when I did, so. There is like a lot of heat coming from the disqualified contestants. Uh -huh. This is like the most interesting part All of the right. whole show. I'm getting geared up for episode two. All right, <laughs> yeah. This is only going to get more wild. <laughs> Kick into gear once Remington came on the screen and we were not disappointed. Call it on me, call it on me. One, two, three. It really does seem like he's chosen a lot of boring girls. Doesn't it? I mean they're like the most provo of it. Anyway. Call it! <laughs> oh. I need a hard drink. Look, Remington's one of the creators. I was actually wondering mm. if he was. Chris by Remington and Carson. Yep. Okay, well this was a very non-eventful episode, but somehow still took us about 50 minutes to record. Um, I'm getting pumped to episode two. I feel like that's when stuff's gonna actually start happening because he's gonna start going on dates with them. So we're mm -hmm. gonna get to see more than like a two second I'm from California conversation. Yep. And so that'll be good. things are only gonna get more heated as more and more girls get DQ'd. <laughs> for more and more spicy reasons. Spicier and spicier <laughs> reasons. <laughs> Um, we're gonna play around with the format for the next one. I think we're gonna try recording our microphone and leave the thing running because it's been an absolute nightmare to edit the first one, which is why we did this in two parts because I was like, I cannot. So if you have sympathy for poor little Tana editing the last episode for several days, please support us on Patreon. <laughs> he is very uh, underpaid for what he does. <laughs> That's true. I might have to look for a part-time gig soon. You should chat to Remington. I think you should. <laughs> I would ask him to be my, to be my <laughs> agent. <laughs> He's totally like Liz Lemon's agent. Do you remember? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Thanks for joining us. We're excited for episode two. Um, yeah, let's do this.